Alright boys and girls, so in today's video we're going to play some knife ability test and you can already see it in the title, I have something special for you, one of my friends actually borrowed me his custom beam which is very very generous, so definitely shout out to world, thank you so much for borrowing it to me, I really really appreciate it. So in today's video we're just going to take a look at the custom beam itself and in the next video we're actually going to compare the custom beam with hyper beam and death beam, so without further ado let's start today's episode and well let's take a look at this pretty awesome ability. Alright boys and girls, so there we go, we joined knife ability test now, and in today's video, like I said, we're going to take a look at this pretty awesome ability called Custom Beam, and this is actually a contraband item, so it was sold in the black market, I think that's actually the only time this item was sold, if I'm not completely wrong, it was sold for 50,000 gems, which might seem to quite a few people like a lot of gems, but to be completely honest, that's very inexpensive, I think nowadays the value is over 100,000 gems, so this item definitely went up in value, and overall it looks pretty awesome, so you might be wondering, what's so special about Custom? beam in this case compared to hyper beam pretty much they have the same icon you can see that but the special thing about custom beam is well the name says it you can customize it to your liking you can choose the weapon color as you can see right here we're going to start of course with the color black right here which is very very nice and that's how this one looks like you can see it looks pretty cool has a very nice effect as well of course we can now change it to a different color let's go for white right here i think that one might be quite nice as well and you can see it looks pretty amazing and of course you can customize it to whatever color you want you have a lot of colors right here a huge variety of colors colors and let's just go with I don't know like a purple I think a purple would be very very nice so there you go and now we have a purple and I think that's the coolest thing about custom beam right here and other than that I think it's pretty much the standard hyper beam slash death beam I think they're pretty much the exact same I think the size is completely the same and overall the ability is pretty much the same so we're definitely going to do a comparison in the next episode so stay tuned for that where we're going to compare the speed of the hyper beam death beam and custom beam and we're also going to compare the overall size of them and see if there's any difference with those and i think that's going to be quite interesting today's episode is just going to be to showcase the custom beam itself i think it might be quite interesting we're gonna go join a public server in a few minutes and get some gameplay of course because i think that might be quite interesting as well so yeah i think i've showcased quite a lot right here so let's just switch to a public server so there we go we actually joined the public server now as you can see and yeah let's just equip custom beam right here and of course let's equip a very very nice knife we're going to try to match those so let's actually go with the diamond shard knife and then we're going to use use a white custom beam color right here so I think that might be quite matching I always try to kind of match and mix the abilities with the knives I think that's kind of a cool thing to do I don't know maybe that's just me maybe I'm just really really weird anyway so now we're going to use custom beam right here it's pretty much the same as hyper beam you do not get any gems for killing people with this overall this ability is pretty cool I think I really like the customizability of this one and I think personally it has a very very cool look to it especially since you can change the color to your favorite color um, so I guess that's a really cool thing about custom beam right Right there. Of course with all of these or with most of these items you can actually give it a custom name as well if you want to. That will cost you I think 85 Robux or if you get lucky you can unbox the custom name tag from one of the crates for 50 Robux but I wouldn't recommend gambling for those. I'm going to make a video very soon where we're going to unbox quite a lot of these crates and we're going to see what we're going to get and how good these are. Maybe they're pretty good or maybe they're pretty bad. We're going to find that out very soon as soon as we're going to unbox I think around 50 or 60 of those. I think personally that's going to be quite interesting and yeah let's just get some more gameplay right here I think that might be quite cool since I just borrowed the custom beam I don't have this one forever of course and I'm going to give it back to my friend of course since well he just borrowed it to me and so you can see it's pretty much the same as death beam right here we're currently knife spamming I'll leave a link in the description down below on how to knife spam a knife ability test it's something very very useful to know because you can throw the knives a little bit faster than normal people which is I guess quite beneficial for you and did the guy just glitch into the floor? Um, I think he did, that was quite interesting. But you can see it's pretty cool, I think we're gonna switch up the knife combination right here in a few seconds. We're probably gonna go with the other short knives right here, let's go actually with the ruby, no, actually let's go with emerald, I think emerald is kind of cool. And then of course we have to adjust the uh, custom beam right here to a green color, and now it's matching once again. And there you go, look at that. I think that's really, really cool. I think the short knives are really awesome with custom beam. I actually really like the combination right here. I think it's so cool. You have like this green beam and then you also have these green shards. I think that's such a nice thing and I think it looks really, really cool. That's a very nice ability to have, I think. So 
yeah, one day I might own it myself. I think that would be quite cool, but I personally don't really trade, so that's gonna be a very difficult one. Maybe one day they're gonna open the black market again for a knife ability test. I think that would be super cool because you could buy like all sorts of really cool stuff in the black market and it was just really, really nice. We'll have to wait and see what happens with the black market if it ever returns or not. I would personally think it would be a really, really nice thing to see. Um, I would most likely just buy the gems then because currently, as you can see, I only have 16,000 gems. So that would be really, really short to you get custom beam and it would most likely not even cost the same as it did back then so yeah anyways enough just random talking right here i think now let's just focus on custom beam i think it's once again time to switch the knife right here let's switch to the amethyst shard of course and then of course let's just switch right here custom beam to like a purple color maybe this one i think that might be quite cool so there we go and you can now see we have our amethyst shard and yeah it looks pretty nice there we go very very nice there you go once again we got another kill right there that's pretty cool you can see knife spam is really, really helpful right now, I think. And in a few minutes, we're gonna end the video, I think, because I've showcased quite a lot of gameplay today. And I personally think that's probably enough for this kind of showcase right here for custom beam and then of course like i said in the next video we're actually going to compare custom beam with hyper beam and of course with death beam so we can figure out which one might be the best and which one might be the worst or if they're all the same in my previous comparison a lot of people said i should have compared the speed between hyper beam and also death beam so that's pretty much what we're going to do next and of course we're also going to compare not only the speed of those but we're also going to compare the sizings and the hitboxes of each of these and i think that's going to be quite a nice comparison you can see we're currently doing really well and as I said that we just died so that's quite unfortunate. So let's see if we can find another really really nice combination right here. Maybe like a golden one so let's go for the golden knife right there. And now let's actually switch this one right here to a yellow color. I think that might be perfect. There we go perfect. So now we have a yellow custom beam right here and then of course we have the dearest gratitude I think it's called if I'm not completely wrong. Which is a very very nice knife right here as you can see. I think it looks pretty cool. Once again, a very nice combination right here. I think I one day have to own the custom beam myself. I think it's a very nice ability right here, and I think it's pretty amazing. I really like the customizability options right here and the overall combinations that you can do with certain knives and the custom beam itself. I personally think it's a very nice ability. So yeah, I think that's it for today's episode. I hope you had a bit of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.